Real quick before I start the video, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. This specific Nintendo Switch that is in my hands, I'm giving it away. I can sign the box if you want, whatever. But in order to sign up and enter to win it, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below. Click there, do as many things, uh, options there as you want, and while you're at it, you might as well leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment down below as well. Alright guys, let's move into the video and don't forget to enter to win. Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play, my very first journey through these brand new Pokemon games. If you are enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like and answer the comment question down below. Also, I did receive these products free from Nintendo. Gotta say that. Been saying it. Gonna continue to say it. And also, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, if you missed the last episode, make sure you go check that out. Now, at the end of last episode, I did say, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take on the grass trial. You know, Mallow's trial in the lush jungle. Uh, it is a new day now. I said that yesterday. As you can see, I'm wearing a different t-shirt, so that means it's a new day. And, um... Therefore, there's some daily things I wanted to check out, and one of them is what Island Scan is, because the Island Scan Pokemon change depending on the day of the week. So I'm back on Melee Melee Island right now, did some QR scanning right before I started recording, and we're going to find out what Pokemon show up on Island Scan. On Melee Melee Island, on a Friday. And I hope it's something really cool and not a scatterbug like last time. A Bulbasaur? What? Well, let's go catch a Bulbasaur, fam. All right. Route two. That's actually like right there, so I'm just gonna run there. I feel like that's faster. <laughs> well, this is exciting. You can get the, the Kanto starters on Melee Melee Island. Is this gonna be the Bulbasaur? It said Route 2. And there it is! Hi, I'm Bulbasaur! And I am <laughs> Halucha! <laughs> this is like, just need a Squirtle and we have Pokemon Talk Episode 21 on here. Alright, let's just throw a Quick Ball. Where are my Quick Balls? Why is this not alphabetical? <laughs> if this doesn't catch, this is actually going to be kind of tricky, because... Alright, it's fine. Alright, we got a Bulbasaur! Way to go, guys! I'm proud of you. Doing good work. What are we going to name you? Uh, sure. We're going to name you... Hmm, we're gonna name you... I really did not think this through. Um... How about... No, that's tacky. Um... You know what, we're gonna call you Redwood. Just because that's like a cool buff tree. That's literally the only reason why. <laughs> uh, we'll add him to the party. So he can uh, level up. We'll send uh, we'll send Pikachu to the... Uh, uh, oh, that's nice that it does that. All right, we got a, we got a Bulbasaur. Cool. I don't know if I'll, I'll use it on my team, because I already have the poison type in Marini, but I'll, I'll keep it around, you know? Maybe it'll level up, you know? Might get an Ivysaur as well. That'll be cool. Um, oh yeah. The other thing I wanted to do before we do the grass trial is investigate this whole Vulpix thing. Um, they were like, oh, come back tomorrow in two different places. So I'm going to go to those places. I already bought a big Malasada to feed it, like, later. First place is over here. Here's the lady. When I woke up this morning, I found a bottle cap left at my door. Must be from that Pokemon you saved. Trying to say thank you, I suppose. You should keep it. 
Okay. Steam Skull Bullies scared it off, but I haven't seen it since. But well, it should know that there are people like you too. I hope it comes around here again soon. Alright. So after saving it, you get a bottle cap the next day. Um Let's go check what's going on at this ether box. Because I really want them to give it to me. <laughs> I want to use an Alolan Ninetales on my team, and getting it this early would be awesome. But if it like takes several days worth of effort, I'm going to be like at the point where I can just catch one. Uh, I'm going to not make eye contact with the guy who asked me to find a Gumi. Oh, you're here. It's great to have your help. It started eating the food we prepared. I think it's going to trust me too, thanks to you. Only you could play outside without getting into any of those Team Skull bullies. What should we do? Let's go play! This is adorable. I bet Bulbix will be much more comfortable with you around. Let's go! Seems like it was having so much fun, it's white fur got all muddy. <laughs> Did you have fun? It did have fun. I walked to this Vulpix, oh my god. This story won't be much longer, Vulpix. We had a lot of fun today, so we should rest. There's more fun to be had tomorrow. Come on! <laughs> How many days? <laughs> it clearly loves me! Ah, uh, alright. Let's do this grass trial. <laughs> alright. So, I... Well, this is mildly amusing. If you activate Tauros on the steps, it doesn't let you go down them. <laughs> well, alright. Well, we got the answers to that. What do I want to use? Part of me is like, okay, I could give them the Z moves, but like... Like, Supersonic Sky Strike and... The fire move, but I'm also like, I feel like I should do something different, you know, for the sake of exciting battles. I actually think I'm gonna lead with Tex. Because Tex is the water type, obviously, so that's not great. But he's poison type. And, oops. I want to make sure that I... I, I want to poison the Lorantis, I believe. If it turns out not being a Lorantis, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's Lorantis because... They showed Lorantis, you know, that whole approaching you from behind thing in the trailer. So I'm pretty sure it's the same. But... Let's do it. Okay. What up, Mallow? Alright, so this is gonna be the same. I think they changed stuff. I feel like we saw Pseudo Wudo in the trailer. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle. Are you getting some hot water? My trial is ready for you if you're ready for it. Let's do this. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about is uh, Diglett. Clearly it's not good. Uh, its defenses are non-existent, and right now its attack sucks. Its stats get way, 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 way better when it evolves. Um, its defenses are still bad, but its attack and speed get better. Like, its speed get is already fast, but it gets better. And its attack goes from, like, sucky to quite good. Okay, Mago Berry, Honey, and Big Root. But it evolves at 26, so I'm gonna leave it in the party until it evolves. Test it out, see if it's better after that, and if it, you know... It's it's still in trial mode. Um, Forage Bag? Okay. She hasn't said anything about Stoutland, so... You just tossed all the trial ingredients in your own bag, it would make something alright. Something like a mallow mess, I guess. <laughs> Let's go and find the first ingredient right away. So she's coming with me. She's not telling me to find it with Stoutland. Oh, look, some. Are those Fomantis? Yeah, they are. So cute. Running away. You saw so mantis. I wonder if they could tell how strong you are. <laughs> totally. You can find Mago Berries around here. You also find Fomantis living here because they love Mago Berries too. If you take a Mago Berry that the Fomantis had their eyes on, they might not take it too kindly. When you're doing gathering ingredients here, just let me know. So I guess I just have to guess which one of these... Oh, there's a TM. I need to make sure I go get that. I just have to guess which one of these is not going to have... Are there any, like, signs as to which one, like is gonna have a Fomantis? Let's try the farthest away one. 
A sour scent is wafting up from the sap. Sour scent. A sweet and sour scent. A sweet scent. Which one is going to have the... Do you think... Which one's going to have the... You know what? We're, gonna, we're just going to try the sour. I feel like the Fomantis only hang out in the sweet places. So sweet and sour a Fomantis would be, and a sweet the Fomantis would be, but I feel like there'd be no Fomantis on the sour. Okay. So about that ingredient, sure that's the one you want to grab. If any Pokemon are eyes on it, you might be taking some of the Pokemon things belongs to them, and then they might come attack you later. Okay. I think I'll be fine. Okay, they were happy. It appears I didn't take... Yeah, it appears I picked the correct one. No Fomantis are going to attack me. Because I picked one... You can harvest- oh, there's Kiawe! Honey from the flowers that bloom here in the jungle, but you also find plenty of Pokemon where there are lots of flowers. When you find the ingredients you're sure you want, come show them to me, okay? Alright. Hi, Kiawe. You'll say Pokemon are lured in by flowers and gather around them. Watch out when you see a bunch of flowers if you don't want to get attacked. Alright, so let's- okay, he's got the thick club that's the same. So let's talk to all these flowers and see how the dialogue- a pleasant aroma. Okay. There's the Eevee rock. Smell a pleasant aroma. Smell a pleasant aroma. They all are the same. From the few flowers that are blooming here. Oh wait, that's the language difference. From the loads of flowers. From the tons of flowers. From the bunches of flowers. Okay, so he said you'll find them where there's a lot of flowers. So I take the honey from the one that only has a few flowers. From the few flowers that are blooming here. Yes, okay. That's how you know the difference here. Very subtle language differences. So about that ingredient, you sure that's the one you want to grab? Okay, yes, same same thing here. I'll be fine. Uh-oh. Okay, they're happy. Alright! Woo! Look at me go! Solving puzzles! Solving language puzzles, that's me. A big root, huh? A pseudo wudo, huh? Find them near the trees deep in the jungle that look kind of like pseudo wudo, but you'll also be able to find some of the trees are actually pseudo wudo. Good luck and watch out. Sure you want, come show them to me, okay? That looks a lot like a pseudo wudo. Tree that looks like it might be a pseudo wudo. Its branches are shaking a bit, okay? Clearly that's a pseudo wudo. Tree that looks like it might be a pseudo wudo. You get the feeling you're being watched. <laughs> That's obviously a pseudo wudo too. Times defense. Might come in handy. Its leaves are fluttering. Um, what's this one say? It looks like it might be a pseudo wudo. Oh, it doesn't say anything. This has got it. Oh! You it doesn't have feet! You can tell okay, that this one's the this one's legit. I just want to see what this one says. Okay, yeah, that's clearly the correct one. Trunk seems to be swaying. Oh, Lana. Michael, are you here for Malice Trial too? Yep. I was just taking a guess. Looks like I came here because Malice asked me to bring her fresh water. I feel like she could have gotten water from most anywhere, but... Alright, this is the one we want. Yeah, because I can tell it doesn't have feet. This one's the easiest of them all. The other ones had very subtle language differences, and, like, I just had to guess that the sour was the correct one. 
Um, but uh, I think it's good I went for the... Uh, yep, I was right. That was not a pseudo Wudo. I think it's funny that pseudo Wudo, if you take the root from its feet, it like won't attack you on the spot. <laughs> All right, Mago Berry first. Let's put this Mago Berry into the pot, and there we pour in the fresh water that Lana brought us. Next up is the honey. All right, no one's attacking me. Look at me go. Three for three. Hmm. Cleverly camera angle avoiding showing any stirring stick because they don't want to animate that. <laughs> Finally, it's finished with one last pitch of my super special secret spice. Ta-da! That looks disgusting. Unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel like piercing gay from somewhere within the underbrush. Is this gonna be the exact same camera angle? Looks huge, and then it's relatively small. <laughs> Upon snip, snip. All right. First things first. We're gonna toxic this thing because as the battle goes on, it won't be able to outlast it, no matter how many synthesi it uses. <laughs> synthesi is not the plural of synthesis, but you know. Alright, you got this, Tex. Let's Toxic you. Solar Blade immediately. Oh goody. Oh god. It's neutral? We got the Toxic off, and that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, what is its health gonna be? Is it gonna be a Trumbeak or a Cast Form again? A Kecleon! Whoa, what? Okay, not a Trumbeak or a Kec... Uh, Trumbeak or a Cast Form. Do I go for the Venoshock? I think I'm gonna go for the Venoshock and just see what happens. I'm probably gonna faint here, but that's fine. Then I get a safe switch in. Okay, so that's two turns. We outspeed the Kecleon. Oh, sick! Okay, so it goes for Solar Blade this turn, which I know is gonna KO Tex. It sucks because, like, with damage this turn, Poison won't KO this turn. I KO the Lorantis this turn if I can get damage and the Poison damage. But I can't. I think I have to go for another Venoshock and hope that Solar Blade misses. Because... It's gonna use Synthesis next turn. I think I, I go for the other... another Venoshock. If Tex goes down, that's fine. Okay, it's not missing. Alright. Thought that might happen, but not a big deal. Alright, Tex faints, but they got the poison off, which is a big deal. All right, let's go into, do we go into Nacho? Let's go into Nacho, Nacho's gonna be really fast. And should, maybe, well, even outspeed the Lorantis, even though it is, has the speed boosted, hopefully. Nuts. Okay, well maybe poison damage plus the Aerial Ace will be enough to KO this turn. Cause it's toxic poison, so it gets worse. Oh, absolutely. Okay, it dies to poison this turn. Sunny day. Yeah, but that that doesn't matter. It, it, it's done. <laughs> All right, we beat the Lorantis. Oh my god, that was much less of a headache than it was <laughs> in Sun and Moon. I barely beat it in Sun and Moon, but my team also matched up against Grass types worse. My only Pokemon that was good against Grass types was a. Uh, 
my charge a bug. Yay for Redwood! Way to go, buddy. Kind of, yeah. Poison powder. <laughs> sure. Redwood's gonna be my, you know, he's gonna be my little pet. <laughs> I'm not gonna use him on the team, but he'll, st well, he can't really sit on my shoulder. He's a bit big to do that. And sleep powder? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, what's your accuracy? 75? Actually, well, mm, I'll just give her a tackle. It doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> but we beat Lorantis! Gugu level 25. I've never used Goo in a battle, and it is <laughs> almost, uh, it, it's level 25. <laughs> Nice! All right, we beat the Lorantis. That poison definitely came in in handy. That like really counteracts the synthesis effectively. Cause synthesis is like, that was so annoying. I just, last year I had to just wait for synthesis's PP to run out. I had no choice. Cause I just couldn't do enough damage. But toxic poison, I'm glad that I planned ahead for that because that took it down way faster. Like Wheel of a Camp Art, my Marowak didn't stand a chance. Nor did the Arachnoid that I had trained so carefully. Weren't you surprised by the Arachnoid? Alright, Grassium Z! <laughs> Give this to my new Bulbasaur. Later today, I do want to do Island Scan again on Akala. Um, I've been avoiding doing that until I've been to every area in Akala. I'm scared to do it. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm afraid I'm going to end up with, you know, it's going to be in an area that I can't access. <laughs> I mean, I've, I have access to most of it, but still, I don't want to risk it. Oh, more nest balls. Oh, thanks. Appreciate you. I just didn't finish its food. Well, we can't let it go to waste. Lana Kiawe, you guys should have some. Uh, um, I'm pretty full right now. I, uh, I just ate a berry. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that food you cooked is suited to Pokemon's taste buds, right? I think it's probably best to save it for when, uh, Lorantis wants some more. You think? Libby always says she thinks it's delicious. I think people would enjoy food cooked for a totem Pokemon, too. Your guys' loss? And Kiao is like, I'm not, it's not my loss. <laughs> I'm, I think this is for the best. Alright, see you, Mallow. Oh, hello, Kukui. That sweet smell I smell drifted my way. Could it be a tasty Mallow special? Looks like Kiao, or Kukui likes it. Alright, smart strike. Okay, this is the same. Definitely want to poke around in here, see what I, just see what I can see. Um, there'll be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge, Dimensional Research Lab, okay. So that's just gonna be more cutscenes that we've done before. Um... Oh yeah, I gotta take on Olivia. Not too concerned about that. Halucha, I think Halucha's weak to rock. Or does fighting, I think fighting resists rock. So I think it's actually neutral on Halucha. I'm gonna heal and get text back to full. Um, and I also have um, text. What is she gonna have? She had a nose pass, a lichen rock, and I think a boldor last year. So no dual types, no rock ground types in Sun and Moon, I believe, but I can't be certain. Um, we're gonna put Nacho in front for the sole sake of running from everything, being able to run from anything. Because I know I saw that TM and I want to go get it. I don't remember what it is. It's probably a grass type move, but I don't remember what it is. But let's find out. Alright, I saw it going this way, so I believe I need to go. Oh, what is this thing? Hello. I still need more Pokemon to update my Isle of Plenty. Oh, a Steamy! Okay, we'll catch this. I need more Pokemon to upgrade my Bean Isles. <laughs> so I will, I'm going to be catching every single Pokemon that I find 
that I do not already have. Which is easy to do because I have Quick Balls. Let's go! Costini, alright, sweet. Add your data to the Dex. The Dex Theroni. Sucker Punch. Sure. Can you learn Smart Strike? I should probably see if you can learn Smart Strike. I kind of doubt it though. It's like a steel move, but you don't have any like horns. Take down. Sure. Actually, never mind. I don't want to teach takedown. <laughs> no. I don't like using recoil. <laughs> Especially when it's not a stab move. Alright, Steenie's getting added to the decks. Interesting that you can find Steenie here. Before it was just Balance Suit. It's protected by hard sepals, so it plays with bird Pokemon without worry. They peck it relentlessly, but it doesn't care. Wow! Ah, crap. That was not what I meant to do. Send to a box. There you go. Alright then. Let's go get this TM. Oh, I was gonna see if I can learn Smart Strike. It cannot. Of course not. I feel like it's over here. Is it? Yes, it is! Alright, what's the TM? Grass Nut. Okay. Not sure that's better than the Giga Drain Move Tutor, but, I mean, it could be solid. I mean, it's more... It's just more situational, you know? Because you have to be using it against heavy Pokemon. I mean, Rock and Ground type Pokemon tend to be pretty heavy. A Pinsir? Alright. Alright! We'll catch a Pinsir! If this works, which hopefully it does. Mold Breaker. Please work. Please work. Please work. Nuts. Seismic Toss. Oh my goodness. That's fine. Okay. Let's try Brick Break. Bug Resist Fighting. So I think that it'll survive. Oh, absolutely. That survived better than I wanted it to. <laughs> okay, let's do two more Brick Breaks and then we'll throw a Netball. Oh, nice! Getting those affection benefits. I don't think he gets boosted experience points until he gets max affection, but... I resist that. Yeah, we're good. I need to sort these alphabetically. Let's hope this works! Come on! Nuts! Come on, man! Get in the ball! Alright, we're doing another Brick Break. Stop seismic tossing me, you stupid bug! Can you fly out of the Lush Jungle? Oh, I forgot that was a possibility. Oh, cool. Come on. Come on! There we go! Caught ourselves a pincer, alright. Way to go, Halocha! Flying press! Oh, the move! Oh, we'll get, rid of, we'll get rid of wing attack. I now have my epic simultaneously flying and fighting move. What is it, like 80 base power? What power is it? I need to look that up. I don't remember what what power it is. Oh! Haha! -ha! See, this is why we kept it in the party! It doesn't get entries for the decks, unfortunately, because they're, they're weird like that, but... I mean, it's cool to see. 
Ivysaur! Nice. Pinsir's data will be added to the Pokedex. It gets into ter territorial disputes with Vikavolt. Oh, for some reason it apparently gets along well with Heracross. Oh. Interesting. I think that's new information. Unless that was one of its dex entries in the other game, which I did not know. Um, let's look at Flying Press. What is it? I think it's 80. It's 100! Oh my gosh! Was it 100 in Gen 6? I don't know. Did they buff it? Or was it always 100? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It's 100 now, so that's awesome! Let's, uh, I don't think there's anything else I can really get here. I think I... Ha. Found a hidden item without Stoutland. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll let this be the last encounter, then we'll call it an episode. Another Steenie. Okay, we'll get one more. <laughs> Run away. Times attack. Okay. Oh, another. This is gonna be another Steeny, isn't it? Yep. These things are everywhere now. We weren't here at all before, now they're everywhere. <laughs> Go on, Nacho! We're breathing in perfect sync? We don't even have max effects, and we're already doing that? Holy crap. Alright, one more encounter. Last one, I promise, whatever it is. Paris. Okay, we'll catch a Paris. Quick ball. We did it, all right. Another Pokemon for the decks, and so I can upgrade my bean aisle. Very important. Paris is like, it's, it's kind of weird how like, in all the art prior to the 3D gen, it like, look, it looks like the mushrooms are way closer to the front of its body. Whether it's due to a lack of moisture or lack of nutrients, the, in Alola, the mushrooms on Paris don't grow up quite right. Interesting. Maybe it's because the environment is better, so the parasitic Pokemon, the parasitic aspects, don't do as well? I don't know. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, answer the comment question down below, and that is all I have for now. So until next time, we advance. Gotta catch them all!